Hey ninjas, thank you for being here. I'm Seppi and I'm going to show you how to create a landing page using Katana today. So we're gonna work on Craig Veroni's site. Uh, I'm gonna pretend this is my own site uh, and you guys can follow along. When you're logged into your site, you're gonna see these three buttons at the top. You're gonna go ahead and click the manage pages to get started and we're gonna create a new page. This is gonna be our landing page. So you click that and then type the page name. I'm gonna call it home value landing page and we'll leave it as normal page type and we'll just create the page. Okay, so now the page is at the very top of my list and the light bulb is on, which means this page is gonna appear in my navigation. So what I wanna do is turn that light bulb off so it's hidden from the main menu of the site. Then I'm going to grab it and drag it all the way down to the bottom just so it's out of the way in this manage pages dialog and I'll be able to batch all my landing pages here together um, at the bottom. So now it's it's created the new page and it's at the bottom. Now I'm going to click this little page icon to actually go to the page itself. Okay, here we are. So once you get here, you'll see that the page is made up of just the header area, the short header. Uh, a one column uh, content area that has the title as well as another one column content area here that is blank and then uh, the footer info. So what we're going to do basically um, is we're going to clear out all of this and we're going to add a bunch of different widgets uh, so that we can start uh, creating our landing page. So right from here we're going to click the page layout and widgets option at the top and that's going to open up the page layout and widgets for this page specifically. So right away you can see there's the short header, the one column, another one column, and then the quick contact like I mentioned. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and delete the one column, delete the one column, and delete that. And now all we've got is the short header and the footer. So if we save changes, that's how the, this page looks like. It's just the footer touching the short header with nothing in between. Now in, the art, in this article you're reading, I mentioned that with a landing page, you wanna get rid of the, the header, the navigation at the top, because you don't wanna give people too many options to dig through. Uh, you wanna keep it basically simple and not let them get distracted by going through your whole menu. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna get rid of that short header completely, and we're just gonna add a few other widgets. So you're gonna click page layout and widgets, and here we are. We're gonna, uh, first let's add a one column and then we'll add a two column with equal, 50% left, 50% right. Then we're going to add a form. And then we are going to add some testimonials, which is a testimonial showcase. And then we're just gonna end on some listings. So we're gonna do a listing showcase at the end as well. Great, and then we'll delete the short header and save changes. Okay, so now the page looks a lot different once it refreshes, it's just a bunch of white space with a form um, and some blank testimonials and the featured properties. So great, this is a great starting point. Now from here what we're gonna do is click edit this page and you'll see the editable region. So this is the one column that we dragged in, this is the two column, 50% left, 50% right. This is the form that we added. Here's the testimonials, which are coming soon. I'll show you how to modify that. And then the featured properties. So all the editable regions turn yellow and you can start typing into them. So at the very top of this page, we're just gonna type a little uh, intro title. Is it, oops, is it time to sell? Find out, oops, find out what your Vancouver home is worth. Okay, so we're gonna highlight that center it, great, and then we're gonna make it a heading, perfect. And let's make it red, just so it stands out a bit. Great, okay, so now we've got this left side and this right side. Uh, what I'm going to do is just get some uh, default text, just lorem ipsum text, and I'm going to paste it here. And if you miss that, in order to paste things, you go up here to the paste tool. So you wanna paste content using this tool up here. So I'm just gonna delete this again and just click that paste tool and then I paste anything I want into here and click paste content. That ensures that when you paste it, it's all without formatting so it doesn't break the rest of your website. Okay, great, so now that's in there. I've also got a video that I wanna add. Um, so I'm just gonna to go to YouTube here in another browser and I'm going to grab that video. Uh, there's an embed code, so you click share and then you click embed and we're gonna copy that embed code and then we're gonna come here. 
So on the right side, we use the paste tool. On the left side, we're gonna use the embed tool, which is this one up at the top. I click embed, and then I paste the YouTube embed code in here and click embed this. And there we go, we've got a video of Craig describing what's going on on this page. Perfect. Uh, if we keep scrolling down, I like testimonials, but I'm gonna change it to say what people are saying. And then featured properties, we're actually gonna change this to sold by Craig, because I'm gonna show his sold listings here instead of his featured properties. So okay, all these editable regions are done now. We're gonna save, and there we go. Now it's all ready to go. Um, and it's all this page is already live. It already exists at craigveroni.ca slash home value landing page. So uh, next thing we're gonna do is, is modify some of the widget options here. Um, the first thing we wanna do is give this uh, two column a little bit of a gray background. So I'm gonna click page layout and widgets. I'm gonna find that two column, which is right here. Oops, I'll drag it out. Then I'm gonna click the, the cog, the gear icon next to it to get into the widget options. I'll click into this box and just grab a bit of a, a gray color, a light gray color and hit okay. Perfect, apply changes and we'll save changes. So now when we get here, you'll see a big gray kind of background drop behind this. This kind of helps differentiate it from the rest of the site and let it stand out. So in Craig's video, he's talking about how you can get a personalized home evaluation um, and he asks you to fill out the form below. But then you get here and it's just a regular contact form. So we wanna change this into a seller's form. So what we're gonna do is click page layout and widgets and we're gonna go to the form. And then from here, from the form type, it's a contact form at the moment, but let's choose seller's form and then click apply changes and we'll save it again. And now you see that form just changed into a please provide more info about your home page uh, form and it's got all the appropriate fields to fill out. And so after you read you know, this text that Craig's got here and watch his video, the next uh, step is to fill out the form. Once you fill out this form and submit it by sending message, Craig gets an email basically converting traffic from this page into a lead. Now, if people decide to keep scrolling beyond that, we wanna show them some testimonials to find out what people are saying about Craig, as well as provide a bit of Craig credibility by showing all the listings that Craig has sold lately. So uh, let's go into the testimonials widget and modify this testimonials by adding some testimonials to it. So first thing we're gonna do is click page layout and widgets again. We're gonna go to the testimonial showcase and click the cog icon. And here, first of all, let's give it a background image. So I'm just gonna choose from the media that's already there. I'm gonna pick this photo of Craig and we're gonna give it a parallax effect, which will make it uh, slide and reverse in the background when you scroll past it. Uh, parallax is really cool when used tastefully. Um, okay, now what we're gonna do is enter a few testimonials. So I've got some easy ones copy to, ready to copy paste here. Um, so here's one as well as the name and then right next uh, right after entering their name in the text you can click the number two to just to go to the second one that won't get rid of number one all the info from number one will still be there and so we're gonna go here copy and paste let's add their name as well and bear with me I'm just gonna do a third one as well uh, copy paste and Copy, paste, great. So now we've got three testimonials in there. We've got a background image for that widget as well as a parallax effect on that widget. And we're gonna apply changes and save again just to see what it looks like. Great, so there we go. Now you'll see that the text is kind of dark against a dark background. So what I wanna do is invert the text on this so it stands out a little bit. So let's go back to the page layout and widgets, back to the testimonials showcase options and then we're gonna click invert text colors on this widget, just so that the colors stand out a bit more. So when I apply the changes and save again, now these colors all kind of pop in white. So that looks a bit better. And when you scroll down the site, you know, you see Craig's awesome smiling face there in parallax, which looks great. Perfect, so on to the next section. The last bit is just modifying these listings so that it's not showing uh, Craig's office listings, not the Remax masters, but it's showing the sold listing. So I'm gonna click page layout and widgets again, which is m where most of the, the work happens behind the scenes. Um, and then I'm gonna click the listings showcase widget that we dropped in here. We're gonna click on that cog, and instead of from featured, we're gonna switch this listing group to sold. 
Once we change it to sold, we'll click apply changes and then save changes. And you'll see that this list, these listings all change. Um, so now these are all of Craig's sold listings showing up here. Uh, and, and the title sold by Craig never changed. And that's that. So in a matter of under 10 minutes, I've turned this page into uh, a completely different page from all the other pages on Craig's site. It doesn't have a top navigation. It's still part of craigveroni.ca, but it doesn't really look like it. It just looks like a separate web page that's been created uh, with the intent of offering you a home evaluation for your Vancouver home. That's basically all this page does, and it doesn't even allow you to kind of get distracted with the other pages on the site. Uh, you'll notice that because Craig has a live chat widget embedded into his site, that widget still appears here on the bottom right. And so you can kind of type a question and chat with them even while you're on his landing page. So the ability to build these landing pages in your actual Katana site is super awesome. It's, you know, gives you tons of flexibility to create tons of different types of uh, lead generating pages and test them against one another to see which one performs the best for your niche, for your market uh, and for your business. I hope this was really helpful. And if you don't have a Katana website already, just scroll down to the bottom of this article that you're on and uh, there will be a link to help you get started. Thanks so much, ninjas. Have an awesome day.